After being bedridden for 12 years, a Toowoomba woman is able to walk again. Rhonda Hodges has the rare stiff person syndrome and in an Australian first, doctors at Brisbane's Mata Hospital have given her mobility. I have never heard anything about stiff person syndrome in my life and the first time I heard it was uh, in the case of uh, Celine Dion. Now, I'm not a follower of Celine Dion. I do not follow her music. But you know what? It concerns me about this rare disease. And I began to search online to see uh, you know, the victims and the pains and the things uh, that they go through as a result of this rare disease. And, you know, according to my findings and my research, uh, this disease is, is so painful and people that uh, suffer this uh, disease, they go through it. And someone say it is one uh, in me. It affects one in a million, like, you know, one in a million person. And in me, that is the kind of people that it affects. It's not like a common disease, it's a real disease. So watching this video, you will see what the, the pains that these people, excruciating pains that the, I mean, the victim and the people that has this stiff person syndrome that you know that they went through you will hear the testimony you know that we you know make you sober imagine what these people are going through is unbelievable all right i hope uh you know you will take the precautions and the things that has been said in this video that will help you all right thank you for watching these are Rhonda hodges first steps after being housebound for more than a decade and when i saw my toes bend i thought yes in her late 40s, the rare stiff person syndrome came on, causing painful spasms and making everyday tasks impossible. It did take a terrible toll on the family, but now that I'm better, they just couldn't be happier. She'd been told it was all in her head until a chance meeting with a doctor visiting Toowoomba. I knew from my experience that it would have been impossible for somebody to pretend the symptoms. That was in June. Six months later, she has her life back. Mrs Hodges was diagnosed with stiff person syndrome at Brisbane's Mater Hospital. In an Australian first for the condition, she had a pump inserted in her spinal cord to administer a drug to manage her symptoms. The step forward here has been to push that envelope wider uh, to deal with this condition. Rhonda Hodges says she never gave up hope. Well, I was really ticked off. <laughs> I really was because I knew it wasn't in my head. Labels that are inappropriately attached to patients and diagnosis are sometimes very hard to shift, yet the world is full of rare disease. And now she's making up for lost time. I swept them up the floors. I um, got, went and set the table and helped get dinner ready and I was out mustering cattle. Her next step is a trip to see the grandchildren at Christmas, something that was impossible last year. Donna Field, ABC News, Brisbane. Um, so I was diagnosed with um, a rare autoimmune disorder called stiff person syndrome. It is um, usually one in every million, um, but a lot of doctors seem to think that, well, my doctor in particular seems to think that it's more common than that. Um, because it's misdiagnosed so often. Um, for example, I was misdiagnosed for seven years. That's a really long time to be misdiagnosed for something. I can't physically move when it happens. It's very painful. Uh, my muscles will distort, move in ways that you would think your bones, or ligaments, and things would be torn or something would happen. Um, so when they finally came up with this diagnosis, and they showed me that I have these rare antibodies, the anti-glycine receptor and the GAD65 in my body that's causing all these things. It was like a relief and just overwhelming because how are you supposed to take that in after seven years of thinking there's nothing and then all of a sudden you have a team of doctors telling you we found it. I miss my childhood. I didn't get to be a high school student. I didn't get to be 
a middle school student. I didn't get to go and play the sports that I wanted to play. I mean, what did I say? I was like 10 years old when I was a travel softball, and my I like I love travel softball, and then all of a sudden couldn't do anymore. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Um, it's affected my education in ways because with all the medicine I'm on, it affects your memory sometimes. What do you want people to know about SPS? I want them to know that it's real. It's not a thing that just goes away, which I'm hoping there is a cure one day. Um, that it's painful and that I really wish doctors would look more into it because it's not something that it destroys a family, really, when people, when the doctors don't believe you.